While most pilots try to avoid storms, these two are about to fly towards one. But they aren't going unprepared. Their plane is equipped with hundreds of pyrotechnic flares packed with a chemical called silver iodide, which they'll eject into the clouds with the goal of engineering a safer storm. There's really nothing out there that is comparable to it that I know of, so it's awesome. Just hours before, a team of meteorologists met to study storms developing in southern Alberta. They were tracking towards its biggest cities with the formation of dangerous hail, a possibility. So the call was made and those pilots on standby at Springbank and Red Deer airports were told to start their engines. Well, at this point, the race is now on. Those pilots now ready to work with the teams on the ground in order to pinpoint the perfect altitude at which to trigger those flares. In order to help that silver iodide best do its job, which is to mimic natural ice crystals so that when the moisture that's moving through these clouds encounters those crystals, it's encouraged to form hail dropping out of that cloud sooner than it otherwise would have. So you're taking the same amount of liquid water in that cloud and dispersing over lots and lots of little hail embryos instead of having fewer ones that can grow larger and produce larger hail. Uh, do you want us to, to uh, feed if we find anything or call you first? In the air, the pilots are taking turns flying and deploying those flares, ejecting them from below the plane or burning them in place on the wings depending on the aircraft's position, all while making sure the plane doesn't take a dangerous turn. It's very violent if you get sucked in. Uh, there's not much you can do other than if you're climbing, drop the gear, drop the flaps, get your speed under control and, and you know, just keep flying forward until you pop out. Next, this and other seeded storms will be compared to unseeded storms to help analyze effectiveness, both to help improve the operation itself and to show results to those who pay for the operation, Alberta's insurance industry.